Oh my gosh, I love it. Hopefully this works, please. Please don't do me dirty. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the only reason I am is because I really wanna try the magic concealer. But I was like, you know what, let's do a full face and we'll talk about my favorite products from ABH and some products that I don't like so much. And I'm also trying some other new products like the cream products, so the bronzer, the blush, the highlight. So I'm really, really excited to test these products out. This is the look I came up with. That's what we're gonna be doing today. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do a ton of these one brand tutorials. I do fun, colorful makeup looks some product reviews and if that sounds like something that interests you i would love to have you join my fam and let's get into this video all right so we all know that abh does the best bra products right i could stack these oh my gosh this is ridiculous yeah so i have like one two three four five of the bra pomades in different shades soft brown soft brown doesn't work for me anymore we have chocolate which kind of worked when my hair was a little bit lighter than this and then i have granite which i use currently for my dark hair i have the bra powder duo this is in the shade medium brown i haven't used this in quite some time since my hair was blonde and then i have a brow is that i can't use anymore either this is in soft brown clearly it's well loved though the only thing i don't have that i declutter or i ran out of i think i'm pretty sure i run out of it is the brow gel and i usually love the clear brow gel i prefer using a pomade when i'm gonna do a really really glam look the abh brow brush is amazing i don't know what number this is i want to say 11 for some reason but i could be wrong i always kind of take out the excess on the lid on the cap of it i kind of draw the bottom of my brows i kind of do the same thing on the top and i fill in the sparse areas i'm just gonna set my brows with my nude sticks and brow boost i just haven't repurchased the abh brow gel for whatever reason i don't know this is my current favorite brow I think it's so good. Okay, so I just went ahead and primed my lids and my palette of choice today is the Norvina Volume 4 palette. I've actually never used this. I did pick it up recently when they were having a sale. Basically, I got two Norvina palettes, one free. For some reason, the color store in here never intrigued me, but I just love the formula of them and I know that these are shades that I'll definitely get used out of. I love the crazy pops of pink and it's just a lot of fun. So we're gonna see what we come up with today. I have no idea what I wanna do. I will say that a lot of these shades look similar to one another which tends to happen in these bigger palettes from norvina for example there are like four pinks in here yeah they're all so similar and this one's even pretty similar i mean it's more of a purple but geez they're really similar <laughs> go ahead and swatch a few more just for my own like sanity i guess i want to see what i'm getting myself into i will say that there doesn't seem to be any like metallic metallic shades in here like there are in the other palettes i'm talking foiled like crazy metallic looking ones these seem like they're just shimmers kind of underwhelming and then there's two glitters i believe which yeah, these are glitters. They're like toppers. They're nice though. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed that the intense metallics are these, which are the more neutral shades. And that shade is actually really pretty. And I think it's going to work really well. I'm going to start with this shade actually. Now keep in mind, these are pigments. I would definitely recommend doing your eyes first. There's going to be a lot of fallout. So that's going to go all over the outer corner and into the crease oh i love this shade i did also buy norvina volume 5 i'm gonna try that in an upcoming video i promise this shade blends like a dream i'm obsessed okay what do i take next i think i'm gonna go in with e5 which is the like really crazy electric pink shade i hope this translates well on the eyeballs let's see how it goes oh my gosh i love it okay so i might take another shade in the crease but for now i'm gonna leave it at that i'm gonna take this shade on the lid it's very crumbly almost sheer so i think the best way to apply this will be with your finger yeah definitely much better opacity with your finger Oh my gosh, it's so metallic and gorgeous. I love it. I recommend using a glitter glue or even cutting your crease like to make that actually just stay on the lid. So I'm gonna take A2. It's probably very similar to that. I love that this has a purple pink shift. It's gorgeous. It is a stunning shade. Let me use my finger again because clearly it's just the best way to apply it. I'm also gonna take it a little bit over the silver. Isn't that a stunning duochrome? Oh my gosh, I love it. Quite wish I had cut my crease, but it's okay. I'm gonna take E4, which is like a deeper burgundy shade. I'm gonna focus this in the outer corner, bringing a little bit more of that shimmer shade into the outter corner. Yeah, that's perfect. Ooh, I love this. I don't have a an ABH primer. I'm not sure that they even have a primer, do they? I'm not sure. So I just went ahead and primed with my NYX Marshmallow Primer. I really like this for smoothing out the skin. This 
ABH foundation is so bomb. This is the ABH luminous foundation, which by the way is currently on sale on the ABH website. I will have it linked down below if you're interested. Also, it is going to be on sale in the 21 days of beauty for Ulta. This is a gorgeous foundation. And as it states, it is very luminous. If you have oily skin, stay far away from it. The only thing I hate about it is the packaging. I didn't want to clean it off for this reason. It has been a while since I've used it, so it's been like sitting like this in my drawer, which is kind of gross. I do like to clean my makeup. This is disgusting. Like the packaging itself, it makes the foundation disgusting. I don't know what it is about the pump. It just gets so dirty. Can you guys see? It's gross. This is the shade 220N, which I believe is a little bit dark for me right now. I have a self tanning, a gradual self tanner on. So I've been applying it every day and it's not like as deep as it's going to get. I don't think when I apply this, it may not match my neck like at all, but let's go ahead and try it anyway but this is a gorgeous like medium to full coverage i would say it has a really nice texture it's not too liquidy oh it might actually match my neck pretty well <laughs> what i like about it is that it does dry down oh my god it's thundering <laughs> you don't feel it after it sets like it's not one of those luminous foundations that it stays sticky or like you feel it afterwards oh my god this is my perfect match for this tan how exciting it's super smoothing as well everything looks perfect i do have a fully dedicated review on this on my channel from two years ago it's so cringy to be honest i will have it up in the eye if you're interested in watching my full thoughts on this but this is definitely one of my holy grail foundations it is super stunning on the skin but i'm so excited because this is like the whole reason i made this video i want to try the abh magic concealer which is new on the market it's now available at sephora by the way i have the shade six which was described as a light neutral shade hopefully it matches at least my foundation also i forgot to mention this foundation oxidizes a little bit so it is gonna get a little darker this is the packaging very standard abh packaging and this concealer claims to be a medium to full coverage blurring concealer that blends smoothly without creasing exactly what i need i'm so excited i'm just gonna swatch it real quick yeah that's a little darker than i wanted it to be damn that sucks wow i think i like the texture of this a lot it's not really that standard of a doe foot now that i'm looking at it it's curved i will definitely need to get a lighter shade i might have to return this one i do like to brighten my under eyes i hope this is okay though oh my gosh please don't be too dark okay this color match is not it for sure i am really sad <laughs> i feel like i'm not gonna be able to give a good opinion on it because i'm gonna be so concentrated on the fact that the color match is not it i think it's looking really good so far it is creaseless not too thick and it blends out really easily i don't know i think i'm really gonna like it i just gotta get the right shade i do want to try out the new cream products from abh i didn't pick these up right away because i was like i really don't need any more cream products but then when i bought the concealer i was like you know what let's just give them a chance this is the cream bronzer and it says a weightless cream bronzer for face and body that creates a natural matte finish this is the shade amber so hopefully this works please this is the packaging very standard abh packaging packaging i just wanted the one that said neutral because i cannot stand a very warm tone bronzer that's just me personally this is the fenty 125 face brush which i love wait let me feel the consistency it is very emollient so yeah it's pretty nice it's really nice oh i like that please don't do me dirty i like to take it on the back of my hand and just spread it evenly and then go in and apply it is blending so easily though wow this gets an a plus from me though so far i like it a lot I don't have one of the blushes. They sent me the wrong thing. I don't have the blush. I should have checked those before I started. Oh my God. Okay, so I just called customer service because I don't have the patience to wait for an email to come back to me and they are actually letting me keep this. So I'm gonna give this away. I got two different shades. The one that I had originally taken out was bubbly. So I'm gonna keep bubbly. I actually did order dripping in gold, not bubbly, but we're gonna go ahead. Actually, let me go find a cream blush to use for today, which sucks because I wanted to use that blush so badly. I wanted to see how they work. I'm gonna use the same blush in the shade poppy i haven't used this in a hot minute i couldn't find it for a little while this is one of my favorite blush formulas it is so stunning on the cheeks it is a little dewy so it's gonna contrast the matte bronzer which by the way it does dry down matte the bronzer does can't wait to try out the blush i'm so sad but it's okay stuff like this happens all the time so best not to panic by the way i did want to mention the concealer is actually made in italy the bronzer blush and highlighters are made in korea so far really liking everything that i'm using so this is the stick highlighter a cream highlighter with a weightless texture that illuminates the skin to be honest their product swatches their photos they don't really do them justice it does actually have the little applicator on the other side let's go ahead and just apply it directly it is very emollient it's not one of those like stick highlighters that will dry down very quickly oh i actually really like this it is really creamy and it blends i like these cream products so far because they don't disturb any of the foundation everything looks 
super perfect i'm very impressed so i'm quickly gonna set my concealer with the anastasia beverly hills translucent loose setting powder so i did review this on my channel as well with the foundation that day and i honestly have never been a huge fan of this one it actually makes my under eyes look a little dry but i've been using it recently and i might be changing my mind about it i'm gonna do this video soon on makeup i'm changing my mind about or something like that this is gonna be in it because i think it's actually looking really good it sets everything nice it mattifies but it's not like a drying matte anymore oh my gosh i just love a matte under eye in contrast with the dewy cheeks i think it looks so pretty this comes with so much product i've had this since i reviewed it i have not repurchased it the foundation i have repurchased actually i did quickly want to go in with another favorite highlight of mine because i just love it so much and i haven't used it and i pulled it out today and i was like i'm gonna use it in this video this is is the abh nicole guerrero glow kit i have this from the original time that they launched it i love it so much so i'm gonna take this shade this has this has to be my favorite shade in the palette and i'm just gonna go over top the oh, do you see how bam in your face that is oh my gosh it's literally such a gorgeous formula but to be honest the stick highlight is gorgeous and it's a very like subtle i think on the lower lash line i'm gonna take the yellow because it looks like so much fun oh my gosh i'm so scared i'm not sure about this i'm not gonna lie this isn't exactly what i was expecting i don't like it i'm gonna take the purple instead yeah this is better yeah this purple is fun for lips i'm gonna take a color pop lip liner because abh doesn't have lip liners i'm gonna just fill this in because the shade of lipstick i have is very light this is the abh matte lipstick in honey i wanted to do like the ombre Thing. i do love this formula it's not too drying they're liquid lips not so much oh this is so pretty I'm here doing my mascara and i just realized that i didn't do an inner corner shade i'm gonna take one of the glitters for sure though you know how i am this is stunning right here this is gonna be perfect for the inner corner look beautiful beautiful either that or the yellow in the inner corner would be absolutely stunning this is the final look i have to say i'm really happy with the way this is turning out i do want to do a wear test i want to see how the concealer wears even though it's 4 30 p.m i'll try to come back as late as possible but yeah even though this video was kind of a fail in the sense that my concealer is a little too dark and they didn't send me the blush i do love the way this turned out i love the eyeshadow palette i just love this formula so much more than the original palettes i just love the color story of this palette i think it's a lot of fun i i get valentine's day vibes from this palette do you guys i don't know i love it a lot and i love the look i created and i think you can create a ton of looks with this palette i really love the highlighter i wish i had the blush but i'm sure i'm gonna like the blush too if it's anything like the highlighter and i actually really don't mind this situation i just have an issue with the sanitation part of it like i'm gonna have to wash this somehow and it's gonna have to sit there until it dries you know it's kind of weird to me i also really like this i think that it's a great formula i don't necessarily love the shade i wish i could be a little bit more neutral i think a lot of people will like this concealer because it is not you can build it up but right now i think i got a very nice medium coverage it's very smoothing it doesn't settle into fine lines and it just covers everything it's creamy but not too creamy i really like the consistency of it i feel like it's kind of a unique formula we'll see how it wears but i think it's gonna become one of my favorites for sure okay guys it is 10 35 i try to stay up as late as possible i have to be up early to do someone's makeup tomorrow so i don't want to stay up too late i want to be so tired and i just can't i can't get over how much i love this foundation by the way looking at myself i love love this foundation the concealer looks really good the only thing is my under eyes look horrible right now because the mascara i'm using is expired not expired but i was using like the last bit i gotta throw it i gotta declutter it it is almost like crusty to the point where it flakes off and it's a mascara i usually love i know this wasn't like a full-on wear test it was really only six hours if that i will keep you guys updated i am planning on ordering a different shade in the concealer because i just think that i'll like it even more i love the consistency of it and it also feels like i'm not wearing anything on my face it's very very lightweight it gives you a really nice coverage but it doesn't settle into fine lines i'm really enjoying this concealer so far i always come back and i review products and i've used them several times but yeah that's it for this wear test i, I don't know i'm really really loving this so it's actually a few days later and i finally got in my blush from abh and i just want to quickly put in a little clip of me using it so i can tell you guys my initial thoughts but i just want to go ahead and reapply everything i've used this a few times since my original video and i have to say i love it it's so easy to apply i just really like the formula of this a lot it's like a cream to powder formula and i really do like it this is the stick blush in the shade latte i did get like the most neutral of them all because i don't know i just have so many cream products and i just wanted to try the formula out Ooh, that is gonna that looks like it's gonna be really nice for fall so i'm excited i do like taking my fenty brush more than anything to apply cream products so i'm just gonna take it even though it's a little dirty with the bronzer that i just applied but i'm just gonna like really mix it it feels emollient but not too emollient which i think is a good thing Ooh. 
think I made the right decision. I like the shade a lot. It's very creamy and blendable. These cream products from ABH did not disappoint. I'm so happy. I don't see any lifting either, which is amazing. It's something I worry about with cream products constantly. I do like the brush for the highlighter. I think it just like stipples it into the skin perfectly. My first impressions on the blush are it's fantastic and I do really quite enjoy it. Let me know what your favorite product from ABH is because I have to say they do a lot of things really well. They might be one of my favorite brands, that's for sure. But yeah, that completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And on the packaging, it claims, it says that it claims to be, is this darker? Do you, do you guys think this is darker than the foundation? Oh my gosh, how sad. I'm clearly not good at color matching myself, you know? Open for the love of God.